what is going on guys it is your boy danger coming at you with our madden 20 video hopefully you guys are having an awesome day if you are please help me out by hitting that sub button hit that like button leave a comment let me know how you guys like these videos um and yeah you know our goal is to hit 1.8k subs before may before may so 100 more subs i think we're at like 1.74 like i don't know something but so that's the goal. But anyways, guys, today is Monday. So if you haven't seen my new upload schedule, I posted it two days ago or May 3. Um, basically, I got a new upload schedule. And Monday is Vikings theme team. Now, today, there's not really too much to do uh, Madden-wise. But I'm going to talk about what happens with the Vikings in real life. And then if there's cards to add, Mondays will be the day. Obviously, if they drop something crazy during the week, I might make a video then. Um but let's just get into it. So obviously the biggest thing in the Vikings news for Madden is they did drop an Allen Page limited time card. I can't pick him up currently, but if you look at this card, man, he is a beast. I'm probably going to have to wait till next series, uh, which I think is this Friday actually, uh, because he's he's probably going for a crazy amount. I haven't even checked out his stats or anything, but you know, it's, it's nice because, I mean, it's nice and it's not. For two reasons, because our D-line's so good. Like, too bad we couldn't got Paul Krause or, you know, Chris Carter or someone. But, you know, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take any card that they want to give us. Um, see, he's, he's going for, like, 800,000 coins right now. So, obviously, we're not going to roll with that. Um, but just looking at him, his speed is something that I really like about um, Alan Page. Because I would like to put quarterback spies. And sometimes if you put an in guy, it's kind of better than putting an out guy. In my opinion, just in my opinion. Um, but that's kind of where I am sitting at. Uh, Sheldon Richardson is our best DT so far. Um, but that's going to change once we pick up this guy. Just looking at his stats. I mean, Sheldon Richardson has 99 tackle though. So that's kind of hard to beat. Um, but it's still, let's compare it to his old card. Um, obviously plus one speed, plus one a cell. Strength is plus one. Tackles plus three. Play recognition plus two. Block shed plus two. Power move plus three. Finesse plus three. So, I mean, it's decent upgrades. Not the best. But, obviously, I'm going to want to pick them up probably when the next series comes or if I get power up pass. Um, but, I think it's a really good card. I mean, we just got Sheldon Richardson, too. So, I think it's going to be him and Sheldon Richardson and then Allen. Like, the thing is about the DTs for the Vikings is I think we might. And, plus, I'll get into it in a little bit. But... Like, right now, our DTs are amazing. Like, there's not a weak one. Our worst one is Limbaugh Joseph, but I'll get into that in a minute. But, like, right there, once he gets upgraded, he has to, he'll be a 99. So, there'll be two 99s, and then our third one will be a John Randall 97. So, it's like, and then, you know, you got Daniil Hunter right there, and then Everson Griffin. So, it's like, what do you, you know, it's like our D line is so good. I still play games online, and they're still dominating, like, anybody. Um... But definitely going to pick that up when next series comes out. Let me know if you guys picked him up. Let me know how he plays if you already used him. Um, but now getting into the next thing. Um, obviously, this is a little late because it happened a while ago. Not too long ago, but a few days ago. Uh, Xavier Rhodes and Linval Josem got cut basically from the Vikings. So they're not going to be on the Vikings anymore. Um, now, it sucks because, you know, obviously... If you're a Vikings fan, you've been with Rhodes since 2013. Obviously, he hasn't been himself or as good as he once was um, the past two two years. Um, which, you know, it's sad. Linval Joe. So I wish we could have, like, kept him. But, I, you know, the cap. The cap space, man. Uh, but the, the, the bright side to it um, is that they might get a free agency card. Maybe. Um, I don't know where Linval is going to end up going. I wonder how old is Limbaugh. Is he, is he like, retirement? Like, would that be a possibility for Limbaugh? Retirement? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how old he is, but I don't think... Maybe. Possibly. Um, but for Xavier Rhodes, I feel like he probably is going to get picked up by some team. Uh, so hopefully he gets, a, a like, a... I don't know. Free agency card or something. Something of that sort. I need to turn my phone off because it just keeps going. But... Um, Basically, yeah, that's that. Plus, when the new series comes out, Rhodes will be able to go into um, the set. He'll be able to be put into his power-up, which will boost him up probably to a 96, I'm guessing. So, honestly, not really bad right there. Um, and Linval, you know, maybe he'll get a free... I mean, 
if he does, it's great. But if he doesn't, it's not the end of the world in a way because, I mean, our DTs are already stacked. Um, in other news, basically, um, what was I going to say? Now, the Vikings just signed Kirk Cousins. I guess they extended his contract another year or so. Which, I'm just like, uh, maybe he'll get a card again. I'm not quite sure. I'm not, I haven't been using him. I still need to power up uh, Cunningham back up. I took him down because I had no coins at one point. But we'll probably end up having to put him back up there. Um, still waiting on the Thielen card. I'm really still waiting on the Thielen card. I don't know when that's going to drop. But hopefully pretty soon. Um, I'm hoping. They did cut uh, David Morgan too. Um, but I don't think he'll get a... Not really worried about that card uh, coming into the game, obviously. Uh, but still, McNabb. Where's McNabb? You know, we need McNabb. We're looking for McNabb. Um, I don't know when he'll be coming into this team. Steve Hutchinson, please. Possibly. I don't know. Um, but comment down below. Who do you guys think is going to be the next big upgrade that the Vikings get? Personally, I think it's going to be Thielen or McNabb. I think one of those two are going to come into the game. Um, possibly. Um... Paul Krause would be nice too. Another thing with free agency is Anthony Harris. I don't. I hope he. I hope we don't get rid of him. I hope we keep him. You know, I don't think we would get rid of him, but he could get a nice card. Um, you know, we already have Harrison Smith, nice seven, so he could be another one that could get a good big card. If I don't know, because he is technically if there's a free agent promo coming up, uh, but definitely Thielen. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Thielen. I'm like eighty percent sure. Comment down below. Who do you think it's gonna be? Um. And, yeah, just let me know how you guys are rocking with your Vikings team team. Have you maxed it out yet? Because I know a lot of people tell me that they're just starting off. And it does take a long time to get it going. Um, getting it built to where it needs to be. It doesn't seem like it. But it's a lot of coins and time that go into making a theme team. Um, but, yeah, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Comment down below, like I said. Anything that's, any Vikings questions you have, I'll try to respond to them. Or any cool things that you want to say. Um, but yeah, like I said, hit that sub button guys. We are so close, so close to like, I want to hit 2000 subs before the end of Madden 20 or was this? Is this Madden 20, right? Yeah, Madden 20 before the end of Madden 20, um, started Madden 21. So that's the goal, like 300 more subs. I think we can do it guys. I'm going to start posting more consistently. Like I said, this new upload schedule, it's going to make it so much easier for me. Um, like I said, comment down below. I'm going to start trying to respond to every comment. I was lacking on that, but starting now, we're going to respond, man. So peace, um, enjoy, and yeah, peace out.